Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to extract the .dat, .br files. So one of the most important use case scenario of this file is it will give you the stock bin and IMG file from the fastboot ROM. So recently I have made a video on how you could extract the OZIP Realme stock firmware. So some of the Realme and Oppo phones have their stock firmware in the OZIP format. So in this regard, I made a video on how you could extract the OZIP firmware. Upon extraction, you will get a zip file. So it will extract the OZIP and give you the zip file. And once you have got the zip file, you could go to that folder. And as you could see inside that, we have the firmware files. But we only have one single IMG file and that is a boot IMG file. The rest of the partition files are not there. In fact, it's there, but inside the .dat, .br files. So in this video, we'll show you how to extract these files and get hold of all the remaining files. Apart from that, you may also use this method across all the .dat.br files. Just for the sake of reference, I'm using a Oppo firmware. So if you are using an OZIP firmware, then first refer to my guide to convert OZIP to ZIP. And once you have converted from OZIP to ZIP using this video or the guide, extract them onto your PC anywhere will do and you will get all these files. Once that is done, let's not move ahead with the next step. So first and foremost, you will have to go to the GitHub and get hold of the URT tool from here. So let's go to the GitHub and there is no release package, not an issue. Simply go to the code section and click on download zip. With this, we have got the tool. So let's me download it. It will take only a few seconds. Once that is done, you may now extract the tool anywhere you want. So let me extract it in the downloads folder itself. So right click on it and select extract all. And with this, we have now got the tool files. As you could see, it has all the files. Now what you have to do is copy the ROM zip file. In other words, initially you might be having the OZIP format. And after carrying out the tweak, you would have got the zip format file. So once you've got the zip format file, simply copy it from here and paste it inside the same folder where you have extracted the tool. So this is the UR2 master. So paste the file here. Again, I am repeating. First of all, you will have to carry out the task mentioned in this video and convert an OZIP firmware to the zip firmware. Once you have got the zip firmware, you will then have to transfer the zip file to the same folder where you have extracted the URT tool master tool. So with this, we are now done. So let's verify the same. So as you could see, we have now got the zip file, zip format, it's the firmware and we will now proceed ahead and, and extract the .dat.br files, which is there inside the zip file. So for that, simply launch the batch file, urtool.batch and it will take a few seconds to open. So the tool has been loaded and it will take a few seconds and it will automatically show you all the zip files. As of now, we only have a single zip file, which is the Oppo zip, which we want to extract. So type in one and hit enter. And now you will have to select extract Android image bin IMG that BR are supported. So type in one and again hit enter and it will now start the extraction process. And it might take up to a couple of minutes depending on the file size. So let's just wait for the extraction to complete. And one more thing while the extraction is going on, you might get an error message, something around the following lines. Let me show you. So you might get an error fail to execute script booting. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. You should just leave it as it is and it will then extract all the files. So let's just wait for that to happen. So guys, as I have told you before, you might get, get this error message. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. Just click on OK and let the process complete. And with this, it will show you a message that no such file or directory. So it will make a own directory and you might once again see this error message It's again normal and nothing to worry about. Click on OK. And once the process is done, you will get this message and the process has been done. And let's now verify the files as well. So it might take around 10 to 15 minutes because apart from extracting that .dat.br files, the tool will automatically also extract the IMG and bin files, which was not required in our case. But still the tool will require will extract all these three files. And that is the reason why it might take some additional time. 
Anyways, let's now verify the files as well. So once the process is done, you will have to go to the folder. So this is a URD tool master. Now go to the 01 project folder, which has just been made. Now go to the sources folder. And as you could see, we have got the rest of the remaining files. Apart from the boot IMG, we have got the vendor system and all the other files, DT IMG and a few files are here as well. The vendor files are here. Then you have got the build prop file as well. Then a few files will be in the system directory as well. As you could see from here, so it has ex extracted all the IMG and dot dat dot br as well as the bin files as well. So it has extracted all the three files, and with this you have got the desired file, and now you may use them to get the job done. For instance, you may use the boot IMG file and patch it via magic, and then flash it via fastboot to obtain root, or use the vendor IMG to disable the verification check as well, or use the system IMG file to flash it onto the system partition of your phone and you may carry out all such tasks. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.